Today I'm going to show you guys how we built a box beam for our basement uh, to cover a steel I-beam. So to start off we took some 2x12s, just standard lumberyard material, and we planed them down just to uh, get them a little bit nicer and to take a little bit of the cup out of them. I'm using a track saw here. This is a Makita with a track extension, so it's about 15 feet long, a little less. I'm using this to straighten the edges and to take over the slight ease that you get off of normal dimensional lumber to make a tighter joint where the two will meet. These box beams are very simple, they don't have a miter on them. Um, this is just what we decided to go with to save a little money on material so we didn't need such large material. Here you can see I'm using a template I had made previously. It was a little finicky to get it set up as I wanted, obviously exact, but uh, in the end of the video you'll see that little time here really made it worth it. I went ahead and cut that just with a cordless skill saw and then I used a handsaw to clean it up. The house this is going in is a timber frame house. The basement does not have any timber aspects in it as of yet so we decided to use these 2x12 box beams to highlight some of the aspects of the main floor and bring some of the character of the timbers into the basement as you will shortly see. I was cutting the end square here obviously um, this one was just off of on a slight angle there as you can see to match the angle of the wall that it will be going against. There's a couple angles for you guys. So after we just dry fitted everything together we screw, uh, sorry, glued and doweled them and clamped them together to get our final shape. Here I'm just using the half inch drill with a 3 8 bit on it. We used 3 8 dowels, 16 inch on center. It was plenty. Unfortunately, we were slightly off on a couple of our holes, so we had to use a belt sander to get about a 16th of material off of the side, but uh, you never see it in the end. Just added about half an hour of work for us so that was unfortunate. Here we're getting a plethora of clamps on here just to make sure everything's sealed up tight, get all the glue pinched out exactly where we want it. All right, week later, got our stand up. We're going to screw some two by fours on the top to uh, hang it from and we'll see how this goes. All right, we have the family helping out here. It's their house, so it's kind of nice to get a hand from them. We're using a drywall lift. This is probably over capacity for it, but it seems to work just fine. We ended up being a little tight on the walls just because of the way the drywall was finished. A little low, it was uh, hard to squeeze in there. However, in the end, it fit, no problem. ended up being a little tighter than we intended. We were hoping to have about a eighth inch to quarter inch to, uh, play in that, which we did not. But uh, in the end, we were extremely happy with how it turned out. And yeah, no complaints.